is that I actually, uh, what did I use? I used something different than interfacing. Um, you used duck? What? Duck. No, I didn't use duck. I used some stuff that's for not fabric, and I sewed it to the fabric on both sides, and that's why it's so rigid. <laughs> it's like for... Carol's gonna host her own panels. Y'all know we can sail with your
hated it. You will sweat to death, and your makeup will run, and you will look like you've been through a battle by an hour. <laughs> so, um, Warbla is what this one is made out of, and it's literally uh, this is a uh, crystal version, which has a ring around the gem. Um, moon, God only knows. Uh, anime. I'm trying to figure out if I did craft lumps in with Warbla. I think you did craft lumps. It looks like it's, it's, it's thick enough. Yeah, craft lumps inside so. of this. So I did the sandwich method, and then I put these on. This is literally just one layer that has a piece of warbla on the top and the bottom to give the, the piece. I made these. Uh, so the little, I literally cut the thinnest strip of warbla I could and then heated it and then bonded it to the edges. And then uh, I take wood glue, put three layers on, and then it smooths it out so that you never see the texture of warbla and then you paint over it. Um, and I didn't do any sanding, any other prepping because the wood glue does it for you. And whenever you guys do gold painting, always make sure you shade it. Um, with these, whenever I painted them, we painted them gold, used yellow gold for highlighting and copper for, uh, for the dark. Never use gold meat uh, Ever. I made that, that mistake. That millennia is retired. Uh, right. Right. Accessories. Yeah. Welcome to the world of Sailor Moon, where everybody has different everything. Just keep an eye on it. I mean, oh, for tiara stuff? Sorry. I purchased my tiara from somebody on Etsy who makes yeah. a lot of the accessories. It was awesome. Um, I just ripped her star off and I put on my own resin star. Because <laughs> hers was like a really dark, blood red, shiny thing, and I was like, no, it's black. Do you even reference? <laughs> so uh, you, can, you can purchase certain things online. It was cheaper for me to buy the accessory than to make it. Because yeah. I don't have, I've never ever used yeah. Warbler. So I've had it sitting at my house. It. Yeah, it's it's just needs such a small piece and you can't buy. Yeah, you can't buy it just for this bit. Is three quarters of an inch wide by seven inches. Broken, so. so you're getting so little. It's like a square this big. Yeah. Alright, uh, real quick earrings. Uh, earrings change by character and by series. Uh, Eternals, they all have the exact same earrings, except for you. Um, and uh, otherwise, uh, Neptune's earrings change. Uh, these are crystal, long is different, and then each uh, the uh, anime is different. Yeah, you just have to pay attention to the version you choose. So I think every single scout has earrings of some sort. Yes, every single one. Teeny tiny. I know. Even Uranus has earrings, and that's weird. I'm not wearing them right now, but she's golden. I've got them on home. Um, if you want to do Sailor Moon, um, I don't know if you've ever, I, this is actually spelled wrong, it's Gashapon. They're from vending machines in Japan, that's actually what they're doing. They are fantastic. You may want to repaint them because these were not this color when I got them. Uh, but they're really, yeah, they're, they're like, like real, real shiny. They're super shiny. I just spray painted them gold and like I take all this off. It's very kind of um, Really great. You can find them on eBay. Uh, the only person on Etsy I would willingly recommend is the Cosplay Props. Uh, I use her forehead gems. Yeah, I did use them. Um, she makes fantastic forehead gems. I yes. ordered a couple things from her. Never had any issues. All right. Um, okay. We can probably take like one or two questions. Sorry, guys. I tried to bust through that. Oh, wait, boots, shoes? shoes. We didn't go over shoes because we, we weren't sure if there was enough time. Because yeah, we don't. The problem is, is that we would love to do more, but it's so hard just to do one on one because there's so much to these cosplays. If you guys are interested in a 102 or a 103, we would be happy to use them, because there is just so much. Oh, she really needs. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. so they give it a Honestly, get questions. on my cosplay page and send me messages yeah, and what kind of cons you would like us to just try to post these at, so I would know like where my audience is. I know you want your own. All right. <laughs> Do we have any specific questions? <coughs> so for the striping and stuff, so I saw that you guys were like, it's like, oh, you have to sew them on, or oh, you paint them on. Have you tried using um, heat transfer time? It can be very, very, if you don't feel exact, <coughs> yeah. it can get messy. It's hard to control where it irons it, and once you do, yeah. it, it, it's permanent. So it's, if you screw up, it's done. It's not a bad idea. I would practice a lot, but it's, I work with iron. Like, yeah. So like, if I really wanted to do it, I would, but it actually, I think it would be longer. It yeah. would be costly because you would already have to cut it out in the curve. You have to cut out a random made for the line that's exact to put it on. You can't just take a strip of it and cut it and curve it. So. Yeah, and, and I guess real quick on shoes. Um, she made boot covers because Eternals, um, they're honestly, they can either be really easy or really hard to find depending on if you're group. They if you're going to make boot covers, buy new colored boots, not our shoes, not white shoes. Because the white will show through as a brighter, darker yeah, weight. Yeah, um, so yeah, I bought new shoes and then I made boot covers specific to them. I had glued it on the bottom so that I wouldn't slip. And then I used bias tape 
in order to have this be stretchy and hold the curve. Yeah, um, Neptune is probably one of the harder shoes. I came, into, I came up with my own method for doing it, but my one tip to you guys, do not attach the straps to the shoes and you will thank me later because your feet will not kill you because the straps are not more than that. And plus, if you're a tall Neptune like me, that way you will be shorter. And then you can flip it, you can switch out those flats. <laughs> And if you find shoes that are the right shape but not the right color, always read me. These are really fun. I bought these from Plato's closet. This is leather paint. Oh yeah, I love leather paint and coral spray paint. That's the color they wear. Coral spray paint. And then this is the color they're now. A tip is either use the leather paint or cover them with clear mud object that will make them into leather. I like.